Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to download the RK61 software. So um, what you guys want to do is just click the link in the description below, and then it should bring you to this. And then you want to click this so you can see it easier. And then click on this, the one that's 21 megabytes, and it should say February 4 or 5th, depending where you live, the time differences. So then, and then you press unrar and rar viewer. And then you go back to this tab, the other tab, and you press download. And then wait a little bit till it's finished downloading, but don't click on it yet or do anything with it yet. Okay, guys. So once it's done downloading, click it. I mean, hold it down and drag it right here. Okay, guys. So once you drag it here once it's done you click on this and then press download this file and then wait a little bit and it's right here and then you press open and just click yes and then press next I accept or you won't be able to continue and then you can choose where you want to put it, but I'm just going to put it in the um, default place and press install and let it install. And then once it's done, click finish. Okay guys, so once it pops up, um, you should be good to go. I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour. But um, first, I'm going to tell you some reasons it's not working. Um, so some reasons it's not working could be your keyboard's not plugged in. It won't open unless your keyboard's plugged in. But um, you don't have to keep it in while you're installing it. But just make sure it's plugged when you open it. Or it'll say no gaming device found. So you could make game mode, gaming mode. Uh, you could change the lighting. Um, let me plug in my webcam so you guys can see how I can change it. But now that you see the keyboard, Here's the RK61 keyboard right here, um, you can see, and um, you can change the lighting direction. Right now it is going to the right, you can make it go more to the right, or to the left. I think I'm going to keep it to the right. So it automatically updates without you having to apply anything um, you can change the speed pretty, you can change pretty cool um, you can change the brightness so like one bright dim normal and bright so um, yeah you could change it not full color And you could change it to one straight color. Um, yeah, white. Pretty cool. I could change it to all of them, which is the one I like. And um, you could change the effects, rolling. Um, so as you can see it's updating and um, you can change it to breathe it'll breathe one color or you could breathe different colors which is kind of cool or you can do um what else is there uh yeah, static or you can do single on so Press run. Pretty cool. Um, change it to rolling, which is the one I had it on. Personally, my favorite. Uh, ripples. So when you press on it, pretty cool. Um, flowing. One row at a time. Pulsating. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just wanted to go through a few. I personally like the rolling one, basically like a rainbow effect. Um, and you could customize it, different colors. 
for a different key. So like if I wanted um, G to be a mouse function or a key, forbidden key or a hot key or you add automatically when you press on it, it runs something. So that's pretty cool. You can do any key, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, so here it is. You could have different profiles as well. So that's how you download the software. Um, hope this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.